This is Jason. He's seven years old. Jason can be described as... He's gold, he's silly. He really does have a, a, an excellent sense of humor. He really gets comedy, which is awesome. Um, he, he has his very serious moments. And it's just like any other kid, he has... He has his dislikes, where he's not afraid to tell you that he doesn't like something. Funny. He's smart. He definitely loves flags. Very patriotic. He's quite an adventurous kid, but according to his mom, Patricia Glick, he wasn't always like this. The signs were there when he was a newborn, if I think back on it. Um, he had very erratic sleeping patterns. Um, nothing seemed to soothe him. Um, and, uh, well, what really made me start suspecting it was he had global delays, meaning he, um, he was delayed in crawling, um, delayed in sitting up, um, all the milestones that, that a, a typical baby would hit, he was missing. Um, it really came home for me when, uh, when he was about a year old, um, and he wasn't even babbling. He had no words and, and no interest in, in, in any type of, um, Sounds, babbles. Jason was diagnosed with PDD NOS when he was almost two and a half years old. PDD NOS is a high functioning autism spectrum disorder. His older brother Justin was surprised when he found out the news. I felt shocked because I really couldn't expect him to be diagnosed. Like, I didn't see any signs. I just thought he was just a normal. Justin wasn't the only one affected by the news. I wasn't surprised because I had suspected it. I, I don't really think I went through any angry phase or I just kind of came to acceptance and what could I do to help him to, to be the, the best that he can be. Patricia turned to the Autism Spectrum Education Network do you to love support mommy? from yeah. other parents. <laughs> mommy loves you too. I felt I had a wonderful group of people that I could, I could share my experiences with, no judgment, and um, I felt at ease, and Lori Sherry is wonderful. Camaraderie and understanding, and support. If we have a new member come to a meeting for the first time, a lot of times we see tears being shed because they feel overwhelmed and they may have felt alone, and then coming to our meetings, they're now among others who really get it. So when we have our meetings, we also alternate having support meetings with having speaker meetings. So our support meetings are open to adult family members, meaning parents, grandparents, caregivers, where we really just sit around and talk. Having that support lets parents like Patricia know they are not alone and they are among family and friends who know what they are going through. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, N, A, N, A, N, A, N, A, N, A, N. Sherry herself is just very warm and welcoming, I mean, as, as you saw. And it's just a very wonderful group of people to, to sit down, even just even if you just have to vent. Um, people listen to you, people may offer suggestions, you know, even if you just want to sit there and cry, it's okay. <laughs> it gives me great pleasure to know that I'm helping children and therefore helping their families, and also educating society so that they not only know of, but understand and maybe even appreciate our kids. All in all, Jason Scott Glick is a very cool and awesome kid, just like you and me. Say hi. <laughs>